Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Jessica Khwar here. Um, this video is pretty much about bullying and um, if I've gotten bullied and kind of my advice on it and I guess what I have to say and all that kind of stuff. So without further ado, if you want to keep watching, please like, start, really Jess, like, <laughs> anywho. Please like, share, and subscribe. Um, it really does mean a lot to me when you guys do that because I think it's so um, underrated like how many people get bullied and they kind of just sweep it under the rug but really with time it kind of really does get to you especially if you're a young kid and you don't really have any, I guess, one to help you through it. Um, so anyways, let's get started. Okay, so... Um, when I was in primary school, right, I used to get bullied quite a bit. Um, it was really stupid now that I think of it. Like, I was thinking about it today and I'm like, I can't believe that's why I used to get bullied. Like, it was so weird. Um, I might put a photo up of how I looked when I was in primary school. I was <laughs> so skinny and I was really tanned. My dad's super dark, so I kind of get it from him, um, especially in summer. Oh my god, I can't wait for summer because you're going to see a different je sais Anyways, I get off topic. Um, so yeah, I used to get bullied. I don't really remember who by, mm, kind of do, but anyway, <laughs> um, pretty much two reasons. One, because I was really skinny, um, and two, because of my cheekbones, like, because when I smile, I look, see how they go really high? Um, obviously I was skinnier so it was more, I guess, I don't really know the word but you get it. Anyway, so I used to get bullied a lot, like people used to be like, um, um, to me, oh my god, like, why do you smile like that? Like, why, why do you, why does your face look like that? Like, blah, 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 blah. And I, I used to actually feel so, like, I used to think I was so ugly, like, you didn't even understand, like, I used to want to look like all these pretty girls and you know like you know there was like the cool kids right and there really was like I am not even kidding you there were like cool kids like I always thought that was like like bullshit but it's it's really not like it happens like they had we had the cool squad and then I guess there was me and my friend I used to be like a tomboy oh my god like I literally this is the thing, right? I'm so... Because me and my brother were really close. We were really close. So I was used to, like, not bashing, but, like, me and him doing WWE styles. and But he never used to, like, be able to really hurt me because it, it hurt. So I would pretend to, like, you know, ding, ding, ding. Winner! You know, kind of thing. And so I was kind of, like, more... I had, I would say, a bit more guy friends um, than girls. I only had, I think... I don't really remember. But anyway, yeah, I used to get bullied a lot. And I remember there was when I was new to the school because I did transfer from um, a Catholic school um, when I was in year four. Wait, no, year three. Year four, year four. Okay, oh my God, I, I had like a brain freeze. But yeah, so um, I transferred and I was so insecure because I had such a good group of friends back, you know, obviously when I was in year one, year two, <laughs> year three. <laughs> Well, I thought I did and um and then I come into the school and they're like teasing me like why are you so skinny like do you eat blah, blah blah and I'm like I eat a lot like I used to eat but I was so like I guess fit because I used to always run around me and my brother used to always play games like I was always doing something you know whereas now I feel like my fitness level isn't as great as it used to be which is a shame because I need to get back into it but anyway so yeah, I kind of dealt with that for about three years. Um, didn't really get bullied much in high school. I kind of found my own, I guess, place and I was really independent. I was doing everything pretty much alone. Like I was literally doing, like everything that I wanted to be done, I do it myself. Like I didn't, I didn't want to rely on anyone, you know? Um, not saying that that's necessarily such a good thing, um, but that's how I was at the time. Anyways, so when I was in primary school, I remember I used to get really upset because I'm just like, why are these kids, like, they look so pretty and I'm over here with these massive cheekbones. I hated smiling. Like, I'm, and mind you, I always smile. Even till now. I'll be upset, I'll angry smile. Like, 
You know when you're angry and you're just like, <laughs> I can't do it now because I'm laughing, but you get the juice. So um, that's kind of what happened to me in primary school. It's really weird, but it actually used to really get to me. And yeah, so I had a question on my Instagram pretty much about talking about my bullying experience, if I still get bullied and what I, you know, my advice, I guess. So I pretty much just want to say that anyone that's getting bullied, even if it's the littlest thing, like it could mean so much to you, but to someone else, it's just like, I'm just saying that, you know, she has a weird face or like her eyes are too big. Oh my God, I used to get that too. My eyes are too big. <laughs> I don't really feel like they're that huge, but I mean, maybe. Are they small? <laughs> ah, anyways, so pretty much, I just want to like, seriously now, I just want to say, you can re overcome anything. Like literally, unless you're like dead, obviously then that's too late. But while you're alive, no matter if you're sick, no matter if you know, you don't have much money or you're overly rich or you have so many friends or you only have one person that you talk to or if you have no one that you really talk to except your parents or whatever the situation is, everyone has so much capability and I feel like no one really understands that. So. When people bully you or if they say something nasty to you and it really does get to you about your weight, about your height, about whatever it is, always think in the back of your head, one day and mark my words, this will happen. Because it's happened so many times to me that I'm kind of like a pro, I would say. So, so say someone's bullying you in 10 years time or however long, it could even be a year, it could be six months, it could be... I don't know how long, but long, right? They're going to see you and you're going to be doing so well for yourself. And they're going to be like, damn, like, I remember when I said something nasty to that girl. Oh, wow. Like, look how good she's going now. Oh my God. Like, wow. She's so pretty. Oh my God. She looks so much better. Oh my God. She looks so happy. Like something little is going to come. And I'm telling you, you're going to see that person again. Whether if, even if you don't see them, they're going to see you. Something, somehow your paths are going to cross because I'm telling you, this world is so small, like no matter how big it is, it is so small, like so small, so, 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 so small. I remember once I saw a teacher at Wollongong on a Sunday at the same place and I haven't seen it in months and I was like, wow, oh, this is interesting. Of course I said hi to her, she's a really lovely lady, but anyway, so... I just really want to say don't let anyone's words actually affect you because I'm telling you once you let people start to get once you let people get into your head that's when you lose control of yourself and I mean that in saying like you become this person that you believe what people tell you but you don't believe what you say so there's a saying um, I forgot who said it but it's something like um, I am not what you think I am I am not what I think I am I am what you think I think I am. It's a tricky one, but rewind it because I'm telling you, like, that is like so, so real. Like, seriously. So, say someone's saying, Oh my God, you're so skinny. Oh my God, you're so fat. Oh my God, you're so ugly. If you believe what that person's saying to you, then you are that person. But if you think, you know what, I look freaking amazing, my hair's done, makeup's good nails are okay, whatever, or whatever it is, and you walk out there and you still have that in your head, like it's not something you just say to yourself, like, okay, I need to keep telling myself that, but it doesn't really happen. If you keep telling yourself every day, in the morning, night, whatever, how many times a day you want, those positive things, no matter what anyone says, you're going to be like, they probably won't even say it because you have such this, you have this aura of positivity, you have this aura of like happiness self-happiness which is so important because i feel like so many people are lacking it and it's sad because everyone puts on this front like oh you know i'm good i'm good but really like they're not okay you know like self-confidence wise and i'm not gonna lie i was like that i'm dealing with it you know obviously everyone has their own insecurities and everything and i guess mine are really silly but to me they're important to me or like they affect me and you just got to kind of go by day by day and say, you know what, this person's going to say something. But honestly, my advice is don't even like, don't even acknowledge them. Like don't even like, 
when someone says something to you, just be like, okay, go by your day. Seriously. Because that will kill them knowing that, oh my god, I said something nasty to them and it, they really don't care. Because you really shouldn't care what anyone says about you because at the end of the day, we're living for ourselves. You have to remember that we're not living for anyone else. You might kind of feel like you are or you feel like you're lost or people's words are really starting to get to you because I'm not gonna lie, like there have been some times where people say some really nasty things to me and I'm kind of just like taken back by it and I'm like, wow, okay, like that's not very nice, but whatever. Um, so those are my kind of tips on if you ever get bullied and don't ever be afraid to talk to someone. Literally anyone, like even if you want to email me about it or talk to me on Instagram, like it can be completely confidential. I won't even post about it. Like seriously, like I just want everyone to know that there's always someone that's going to care about you. Like no matter who it is, honestly, it could be a stranger. It doesn't even matter, but they still value your life because literally the sky's the limit. There is no limit. So you do the best you can. You like push through all the potential because say we think we have this much potential, our potential is to the roof. We underestimate ourselves so much and I really feel like bullying obviously does really take a toll on you because they keep saying the same things. They might be hurting you if it gets physical. Don't even be afraid to go to some like to the police or if you're in school or whatever. Like there are always someone that will help you. Just remember that and don't ever be scared because I feel like Every time you're scared, just think to yourself, wait, why am I scared? This is life. I only have one time. I only have one go at this life. I'm going to do it the way I want. And if anyone's going to hurt me in the process, literally just... So my camera died. I don't know if I'm charging it properly. I don't think I am. Anyway, so yeah, back to what I was saying. I just pretty much want to say to everyone out there, whether you're getting bullied or whether someone has something nasty to say, really, I'm telling you, ignore them. Like, because you are all beautiful and we're all, like, we're all just human. Because at the end of the day, they probably have their own insecurities and they probably are sadder than you think they are. And I actually feel sorry for people that do bully or say nasty things um, because I feel like they're so sad with themselves and their life or whatever it may be. So... They want to project that negativity on you and if you let that, like, if you let that control you or you let that sink in, it's going to be like, you're going to be all full of negativity. But if you kind of just be like, thank you, like, that's okay, thanks. Thanks for your opinion, you know? They're kind of going to be like, that's not how I expected that to go, you know? Just kind of like, I'm telling you, just surround yourselves with positivity. Like, I get bullied? No, I don't get bullied now. Um... I do get, I don't know if it's called hate, like if you would say it's hate responses, comments or whatever, but I do get people that say a lot of nasty things on my Instagram. Um, I block them straight away. I really don't care for that. Like I don't want anything negative. Sometimes I do have a lot of comments and I don't really go through all of them. Um, but yeah, I've, I've been called a few things. I've been called, um, what? I'm trying to think of ones that I can kind of get away with saying. Okay, so I've been called um, self-absorbed. I've been called up myself. I've been called um, ugly, of course. And yeah, there's a few other ones, but I'm not going to even mention them. But at first I was kind of just like, I was because I used to, be, I was so sensitive. Guys, it's not even normal. Like I used to cry over everything. Um, and now I've kind of, I've got thick skin. I'm not saying I don't cry because I still cry over movies and stuff. And if something really gets to me, I cry. Um, but when it comes to that, it really, like, literally no effect anymore. I'm like, thank you so much. Like, I really appreciate it. That was a really, like, like nice comment for you to just go on someone that you didn't even know. To end this on a positive note, I just want to say, don't ever feel like, Someone's holding you back because once you let someone control you your potential in life or your happiness or anything like that That's when you you don't have control of your life. You're pretty much giving someone. It's like you're writing a book You wrote this book. You could be making a hundred billion dollars. I said it a hundred billion. Okay, but you gave You let someone steal that book from you Knowing that they stole it and you're just gonna sit back let them take the credit. Let them get the money. No, honey. It doesn't work like that. You are the author of your own book. 
and we still have many, I was going to swear, try not to, many pages in our book. So just make sure every time you feel like, okay, I don't feel like I'm doing good or I don't, I don't really love what I'm doing or this person said this about my, like about me. Oh my God, is it true? Da, da, da. Just thinking, you know what? Let that push you to exceed even higher than you already are. Because I'm telling you, we can all get there. No matter what it is, honestly, no matter what it is, you do what makes you happy and don't let anyone affect that. Because once they do, just be like, shield. Just have a shield, like an invis invisible shield. Negative, boom, 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 boom. Bouncing back, okay? Anyways, I love you all. Thank you so much for watching again. I really hope this helped someone or it kind of gave you a bit of overview on how I dealt with it, I guess. I didn't really talk to anyone about my bullying situation because I kind of thought I was a tough little girl and I'm like, oh, whatever. But it did affect me a bit. But then I was kind of like, you know what? Like, I'm so grateful that I, st I am who I am and I look the way I look and everything about myself. And if I have a problem, I can change. Anyways, before anything else happens to this beautiful camera of mine, I'm going to end it on a great note saying thank you all again for watching. Please like, share, and slalom. You know what I mean? So if you guys want to see anything in my next video, um, please leave a comment down below. I do have a special guest coming on Monday. So stay tuned for that. I'm really excited. She's a beautiful friend of mine. Um, she's in the fashion industry as well, and she's amazing i know her from school so it's gonna be really exciting um if you have any questions or anything any do you know what i mean you know any comments you want to add or anything please comment down below i always look at my comments i appreciate everything you guys do and yeah love you all bye